Hey guys, so I ran the LA Marathon on Sunday. Yep, it's Tuesday now and I'm filming this, and I still don't even know how I feel. I had a numb toe for the last day and a half. That's the thing. I went into that marathon sick and I still did it. It's awesome and I'm really proud of myself. So going into the actual marathon itself, I didn't really know if I was going to be able to do it or not. The last few days beforehand, I was very sick, very ill, with a fever. Did a lot of research and you're not supposed to run with a fever, especially in a marathon, on a record high heat day. You can't just push through everything. I learned that training, just running in general and learning how to exercise and work out consistently um, but in marathon training it was so much more you had to look at like the entire big picture of the process you had to plan accordingly you had to be careful in moments you couldn't just like push through because it was gonna harm you the next day or whatever it was really crazy to learn that patience I woke up four in the morning for the marathon and I had a fever and I was walking around pacing thinking about it. I walked outside to feel how I felt and I felt shivers on myself in the cold and it wasn't even cold, it was almost 70 degrees and it was still dark. My friend Chris was with me and we were gonna run the marathon and he was upset, but I was taking him to the marathon anyways. Fighting something and you need everything to run a marathon. Yeah. Everything. It's also gonna be hot. So like, yeah. everything stacked against something that someone was and I was still gonna make my decision because I wasn't 100% sure. As we were going to Dodger Stadium, I was driving, instinctually felt something. I talked to a lot of people and everybody who I talked to that doesn't run told me don't do it because it's gonna harm you, it's gonna affect your long-term health. And everyone who's ex more experienced runner than I am told me you should try it. You can drop out at one of the aid stations if you feel like you're not doing very well, but you know your body better than anyone else because you've been training with it. You know when your body is about to be injured, you know when your body is about to overheat, you know your body very well, listen to your body. That's what I decided to do by the time we got to Dodger Stadium, so I got dropped off myself. Let's do it. All right. Oh, okay, I'm, I guess I'm driving. Yeah, I'm doing this thing and I'll stop if I don't, you know. I got just, this shit. I don't know, my instinct changes. Well, don't push yourself too hard. We gotta go though. It was just beautiful seeing 25,000 people all in a big group and you see the start line in the front in the morning with the sun rising. The marathon starts and you're running and you see downtown LA and just in the distance as if it was like in a movie and just running through Chinatown and downtown and Hollywood and seeing my family every six to 10 miles. So I think I'll make it to Santa Monica. But really? Be slow. I've been going really slow. All the way to the end? Yep. Yeah. I'll so make it. That's my baby! Before I even hit 10 miles, I was like, I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this entire marathon. I'm not dropping out. I know my body. I know exactly what's gonna happen. And I predicted everything. I predicted that around 15 miles, I was going to have a running high and feel really good. I knew I was gonna have a problem after mile 20. And I was right. It got harder, and then by mile 21, I was just done. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> I didn't know how I was gonna finish the marathon. It feels like knives are like going up your legs every time you take a step. 21 to 24, I'm gonna have nightmares about that forever. And then mile 25 on, because the marathon's 26.2 miles, so the last mile and a half, I just like booked it, because I'm like, this is the end, and you're getting into Santa Monica, and the beach is there, and you've run all the way across the city, and uh, just running into the finish was just amazing, and just seeing my family and friends who came out to support me was amazing. <laughs> How are you feeling? You gotta get this. How are you oh. feeling? You look great. My legs. Your legs. Awesome. You got this. You got like a mile, like Rocky. Man. Oh, sexy. Aww. You look like shit. Painful hug. I'm still not completely accepting of it because it's been something that I've been talking about and thinking about every day for a very, very long time. It just makes me really happy that I did it. And I don't think I'm gonna do another one for a while. I just wanna have fun and work out like normal people. <laughs> I just wanna go play basketball and I wanna like lift weights again. Have fun with friends and have game days and that's definitely what I'm gonna be doing now. But to train for something like this was so cool. My brother was filming the entire day from his point of view. The Deck Brothers video on Friday is going to be that video from his point of view of everything. So subscribe youtube.com slash the deck brothers. 
go, go, go. I think that's it for today. I just wanted to film this really quick. I know this is late, I'm sorry, it's Wednesday, but this, I've been so exhausted. I couldn't even live life on Monday. It was so crazy. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, dealing with me not uploading on a Monday this week. I'm usually very consistent. And I think you guys know that for the most part. I will see you guys on Monday. Like the video if you like the video. No, like the video because I did a marathon, please. <laughs> Have a great spring break weekend. Whatever you're doing, just have a good time. Be grateful. Love life. Okay, bye. It's January 10th, and I'm 10 miles. I just hit 10 miles. So many of us in the world, we never reach our full potential. We never even try because we think we can't do it. We think we just have to survive in the world. We think we don't have the resources and the abilities to do what we can. We blame the world around us. We say excuses. We say this doesn't, you can't do this because of this, or I can't do this because of this. I can't run a 14 mile run because it's raining. I can't do it because it's too far. I just had this overwhelming sense of the only thing that can stop you from doing anything is you. Nothing else. You can always get around everything. And I'm so pissed at the world that so many of us don't reach our potential. And that's what I want to do is help people realize that they can do those things.